Hey everybody, thanks for swinging by to my little spot on the internet to check out another video. Today's video is going to be from Living Free in Tennessee Workshop, April 2022. And what we're going to see is a member of the community, Autofab, go through how to dispatch and butcher a rabbit. As always, the butchering was done with a Patrick Rohrman knife. You can find them in the link below in the description to MT Knives. And with that, I hope you enjoy the video. Please like and subscribe afterwards. Not sure if you know this or not, but there's actually another great website for videos that doesn't deal with a lot of the censorship that you deal with on YouTube. If you're interested, and it's a favor to me, please go over to odyssey.com and subscribe to my channel there as well. Uh, you'll find the link in the description below. Thanks. This is your buddy. Yeah. And sometimes I'll take them and just take a pellet gun and pop them in the back of the head. I've done a 22, but it kind of makes the eyes blow out and it's slightly disturbing. On the initial cut, how far deep did you go? Just through the skin. <laughs> On an older rabbit, it's a little more work skinning it, but it's the same, same basic process. The skin won't just slide off as easily. Uh, Let's see. This guy's guy right about eight weeks. Where, where do you typically is, harvest them at? I like doing them between 8 and 12. Oh, so you would go as easy yep. as, as early as 8? Yeah. Is there any benefit to going longer? Like, do they get larger and more beef? Or well, does it just cost I mean, more money for the buck? I mean, it's a little more meat because it's a little bigger of a rabbit, but after after about 12 weeks, they will start toughening up a little bit. Interesting. And skinning and everything gets a little harder. I wonder if I could do this on the porch of my apartment complex without them complaining. I'll say why not. What if it's hard? Do it over your kitchen sink. I don't know, I like to be outdoors, you know. I'm disturbing you, girlfriend. Uh, yeah. Hanging around over the sink. Well, the chase is her way. Plus all the Now, I have seen people with one of those dispatchers pull a little too hard and just pop the head off which i mean it accomplishes the same yeah, thing yeah. still getting done you said you started selling those right autofab the popper poppers i haven't yet i got busy yeah <laughs> All that connected tissue comes off as you go to Thank you. 
front leg. This is the lever. And the gallbladder is on the face that I left on the guts. It's more flanks. I guess you could make bacon that be really short slices. We do jerky. Yeah. Those are the tender you took on. Tender loins. Yeah. It's literally the same way we, we, we were doing it. These were the tender loins that came off the inside, and this is the loin coming off the outside. Thank you. 
about a 13 acre winery in Oregon. And, uh, he's got so much tube on his land, it'd be $600 worth of the guy to come out and ride to pay. In Oregon, you get like one of these old growth trees. It offsets all his taxes. And he basically pays $6,500 a year for taxes on the property besides that. And he's, got, he's, he's kind of a wine snob. So he's, he's friends with like, he took us on like a winery tour there for like three days. Uh, he's dragging it all the way. He picked up a case, you know, because he's ordered for the month. And that's two rabbits. Ready for dinner. But how many you put in the fruit and freezer each year?